you kind of notice that there's about a dozen goblin trail, as well as signs of uh, two human-sized bodies being dragged away. You actually notice that there's a snare. I picture it's one of these. Like, this is the extent of goblin technology. <laughs> oh, piece of candy. Ooh, so, piece of candy. That's a snare. Ooh, piece of candy. You fall Tiger into said trap. pit. Uh, it's about six feet uh, wide, ten feet deep. So you're you're helping him. Yeah. Do a strength check. Yeah. Wacky sex. Sixteen. Funny. There you go. He's up. Yeah. Minus one can of spinach. <laughs> <laughs> you come across a large cave in a hillside five miles from the scene of the ambush, and you hear a, hear some noises uh, near nice. the thicket over here. Two little biatch goblins, kind of. Keeping an eye out. I want to bludgeon him in the face. Four. He's done. Cool. That's me! Before we start today's game, 40 could not make it, but we have replaced 40 with two other people. Talk now, go. Hey, it's me, Amanda. So my name's Malice, because I'm scary, um, and I'm a rogue dragonborn. dragonborn. Giant. Good. What else? She, you chaotic evil. Chaotic evil. I don't trust her. Ooh, don't trust Fabian, her. Fabian, don't trust her. Don't trust and, her. And uh, then uh, her paper just showed up on screen, so you can read it. I'm Gregorio. I'm a high elf wizard acolyte. You can call me Rail, but that's not my real name because there's power in names. And that's all you need to know about me. You sound mysterious. I'm mysterious. He's a yes, wizard. Then... Also, his paper just appeared on screen, so we know now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, where, does it, where does it appear on screen, by the way? Right over your face. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> we will figure out in time how these two join us. Back to you, Chris. <laughs> All right, so uh, you guys are about to enter the cave. Bicket still has a little bit of damage from his trap that he fell into, so um, uh, 40. He's, he's going to go ahead and uh, heal you and then basically stand outside the cave as a lookout. So uh, that's a 1d8 to uh, to healings. One. Five. Five. I'm back to health. So, okay, so uh, 40 kind of takes post in the in the thicket where you guys uh, destroyed those goblins. As you guys are approaching the cave, uh, you hear in the distance a couple of uh, voices talking to each other. What ho there? Dad ho. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are you inspecting the area? Yeah. Okay, so uh, you take a look back, and uh, you <clears throat> notice in the distance two uh, two uh, human, or well, two two forms. You can't really see because they're coming through the wooded area, so they're still Humanoid. still at a bit, still at a little bit of distance, but they look like people of some sort. I'm gonna hide <laughs> in the bushes, and I approach <coughs> the approaching duo uh, warily, of course, and and I say, "Who dat?" I turn. respond. Pleasantly identifying myself and her. Hello, I'm Rail, a high elf serv in service of the Lord Oma. This is my companion, Malice. Kick his ass, sea bears! <laughs> Oma is the god of speech and writing. Oh. Oh, you like this. Bitch. What's up, dude? <laughs> Who's Oma? I have no idea who Oma is. All right, well, I'm I say, so um, knowledgeable of I say, well, you look like a fine, upstanding individual. I don't <laughs> understand why you're tripping around the forest with this hired goon, but I assume she's your meat shield bodyguard type. Uh, still good. Still we're good. We're about Find out what they're doing here. Uma has called me to this cave. I serve her and don't know what her purpose is. I emerge from the bushes. <laughs> he emerges from the bushes, <laughs> pulling up his pants and zipping. What's your purpose here? We were delivering a wagon for a friend of ours, and then it turned out that he never showed up, so uh, we found those dead horses that you guys probably passed. Tell him your name, too. Tell him everything. We came to this cave because it is where they looked like they were taken. Mission. Also... I popped up from the other bush. <laughs> so, also, I am looking. now standing exasperated, just looking back and forth like, in disappointment. Also, we are studying the lucrative dichotomy of perceptive <laughs> imbalance. <laughs> just yeah. ignore him. Can we trust this thing? I don't work for free, number uh, one. Does this bite? This thing is evil and i'm doing what i can to minimize the talk? evil of this thing but it's, it's grunting right now at this point you guys are pissing it so off so it doesn't talk your numbers <laughs> seem to be able to oh. <laughs> this this thing won't attack your pet tried Unless to bite you poke it. Uh, we should have them voluptuous in front of us <laughs> so if something <laughs> if something happens to them 
We can forsworn it ahead of time. <laughs> okay, so I've only known him for a couple of days. <laughs> <laughs> no, my assumption is he wants you guys to walk in front of us because he doesn't trust you. He wants to check out that, that tail, you know? Well, why should we Not trust really, you? but yes. That goes two ways. Would you mind my meat shield walking in front Kay. and me walking Hang in back? Hang on, simple question. <laughs> Ma'am, you may come with me. They can do whatever they want. Let's go explore this cave. Okay. For some Reptile. reason, I trust you. What are you? So we're, we're, we're both rogues. Half elf. Yeah, he's half black. Is. That's probably why. That's true. I am half black. I said that. <laughs> I will I sigh and yeah. solemnly drag my mace along the ground as I walk behind the rest of you. <laughs> All yeah. right. Oh, so af after me. 40 minutes, we have entered the cave. <laughs> <laughs> so um, as you guys enter, um, it's getting a little dark. So you with dark vision, this is really going to kind of help you see further Hooray! into the cave. Well, um, I'm plus six now. As you guys are walking no in, cares. you also hear... <laughs> Um, like, really. like aggressive ass. barks and growling and uh, just uh, just nasty like kind of animal sounds coming out of that cat. There's a man on your <laughs> So we turn around and tell like, people quiet. I know. <laughs> my little wings just went boop and they stood <laughs> They're up like, mm -hmm. What you got, Ollie? Oh, yeah! What so, do we see in this little bubble off to the right here? That's up some stairs. This is, stairs. yeah, the stairs and then this is that little cavern you're hearing all the noises and, and what's stuff. I, I nudge from under with my elbow and I whisper to him, do you know what those noises are? Why'd you ask me? As you're as you're kind of listening, Fomunda uh, has kind of got his uh, elven ears perked up, and he says, "I, I think they're wolves." And uh, he says he thinks there's <coughs> three in that cavern. I, I hear. I was gonna say I hear at least three. Three. I say the three of us check it out. Yeah. Um, yeah okay. I'm gonna prepare uh, my magic missile spell, and if you guys want to come up with a word that once that you know. Birdcage. Bird, you say the word birdcage, I'm firing these missiles at those wolves. Okay. We're not going to vote on the word? Uh, just inside the cave mouth, uh, a few <laughs> uneven stone steps lead to a small darkened chamber on the east side of the passage. The, the wolves are chained up inside. Okay, the wait, who the here? Thing, the things that we were scared of are pets. Each wolf is, uh, chain is um, basically driven to the ground with an iron rod. Do we see anything else in this room? Just the uh, the stalag stalagmite right there. Yeah. Really okay. So yeah. So um, you guys that are so you're what just standing on the stairs right now? Well, I mean, you guys could go into the room, but the three wolves are in there. So I mean, you're. The you're but they're chained. I just wanted to I see mean, a better look. The goal to see is to see if, we, if there's anything dangerous in there that's going to alert the rest of the cave. I think. Well, Which is more the wolves. So. more accurately, I would say <laughs> so. the the thing I wanted to see is is there any reason for us to go in here? Because if those wolves are chained, there's no reason for us to go in there unless there's like. But treasure what, or an exit. But if somebody I already knows we're there. Very much like to kill some chained up wolves. It's yeah, um, basically what you see is like it's like a ledge almost. So it's like a little like a bunch of like rocks. These Cheetos are fair. And then like a, <laughs> yes. a ledge that Where you can't Cheetos? really see. It, it's basically just like a ledge you would have to climb. I say we kill the wolves and what's steal this wall. Amanda, what's your strength? We don't want to try and sneak past 11. them because if they see us, they're gonna bark like fucking crazy and it's gonna alert Wait, what? whoever's inside. Like well, I was, I was saying that we just leave and go out the other path. Okay, I'm with wolves. you. Let's go kill wolves. I'm not killing the wolves. I will clank up the steps with you with my metal armor. All right, what are you doing? I'm with you. I feel like the wolves should can be killed. I'm, right. I'm standing in the door to see if there's any reason for me to uh, to intervene. But so, Here, I have an idea. Let's let the wolves off their chains so Robert has Yo, to Yo, these us. wolves is off the <laughs> chain! <laughs> Each of you uh, go ahead and add 75 experience points. So this is the the Tribor uh, Trail, the one that you guys came on. So it's seven of nine, eight of nine, and nine of nine. It's a Triborg. Get it? No. 